Welcome to Math Cube's Fourier Transform 7 class on symmetry. In today's class, we will see what symmetry in signals is and how Fourier transform of a symmetric signals look like. Signal symmetry can be even or odd. Even symmetry is a same sign symmetry, whereas odd symmetry is opposite sign symmetry, as can be seen in the figures shown here. A big example for symmetry is your sinusoidal signals, including sine and cos. Sine signal is an odd symmetry signal since the trigonometric identity have it as sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta. Whereas the cos counterpart is even symmetric as cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. The formula for the odd symmetry is given by the signal minus the negative of the signal along the n-axis divided by 2. As seen here, the odd symmetry for sine when taken as sum gives the value 0. However, the difference of these two signals gives us the odd component of the signal. For even symmetry, the sum gives the even signal and the difference produces zero. Now let's see how the Fourier transform of a symmetric signal looks like. In case of symmetric signal, we need to use the Euler formula to expand the exponential part in the Fourier transform equation as shown here. Now with Euler expansion, the Fourier transform of an even signal is purely real, whereas the Fourier transform of an odd signal becomes imaginary. The reason for Fourier transform of even signal being purely real is because the sign components in an even signal cancel each other. Whereas for an odd signal to be purely imaginary, the cos components must cancel each other. The video illustrates the Fourier transform of even and odd signal. Here we have a sign signal x of n and x of minus n. As you can see the Fourier transform of x of n for sign is in clockwise direction whereas the Fourier transform of x of minus n is in anti-clockwise direction. And summing these two Fourier transform, you get a vertical line or you get values only on your imaginary axis.
Similarly, for cos or an even signal, you have Ft of x of n in clockwise direction. Same way, the Ft of x of minus n is in anti-clockwise direction. Summing these two Fourier transforms, you get values along the x-axis or the real axis, proving that the Fourier transform of an even function is real and Fourier transform of an odd function is imaginary. Next, we have signal decomposition. It states that any given signal can be split into its even and odd counterparts. An example of signal decomposition is shown here. For the given x of n, we take x of minus n along the horizontal axis as that is the axis which we use for n. From that, we get the even signal as x of n plus x of minus n and the odd signal as x of n minus x of minus n. Summing these two, you get back your x of n and taking the difference, you get back your x of minus n, proving the signal decomposition property for symmetric signals. Fourier transform class 7 summary on symmetry of signals. Thank you for listening.